Have you ever loaded a Commodore program only to find a strange listing like this that seemingly defies logic? It seems like it would throw a syntax error, but it actually works without errors. If you're interested in how this works, keep watching. We're making Deadline explain everything you need to know about how to exploit the basic list command. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another edition of Commodore 64 Programming. I'm Deadline, your host today, and we're going to be jumping right into it. So get out your VS Code and let's pop it in. First thing we're going to do is import our constants.asm file from the previous examples. Then we're going to create a file in Kick Assembler. If you don't do this, then it won't create a file. Next, we're going to add a segment, a main segment with allow overlapping because if you don't do this, Kick Assembler might not compile correctly. I'm going to start with our basic upstart that we're all used to. And then we're going to send a word, you send, which is going to be a label to another area down below. And you'll see why in a minute. For a better understanding of what's happening here, if you go to c64-wiki.com, it gives you a good chart and breakdown of all the structure of how the commoner decoded its basic memory. And then we're going to add a word 2024. This is your line number. We're only choosing 2024 because it's 2024. And then uh, we're going to add a byte. It's a dollar sign 9e basic token for sys command. And here's a list of all the basic tokens. And then we're going to add in the um, location and memory where we want it to start. So it's going to SYS to the start label below. And then we're going to add a colon. This is going to separate the commands on the basic line and then a byte we're going to add the end basic token this is going to be necessary because when you run the program and if you create a program that RTS is back out to the system it's going to try to run the next command but if you type end here there won't be a problem because it'll end the program. And then next, another colon. And then what we're gonna do here is a little bit tricky, right? We're just gonna add some delete keys. And what that means is it's the character in the Commodore 64 that backs up over other characters. But when you do a list, it'll print as a delete and it will go back over the characters that were already listed. Then we can put our text in. We can put anything you want here. I'm just putting City Zen surrounded by some uber elite um, characters, right? And then you send label. This is where at the beginning it says you send. So that's what the end of the basic line is, right? So now it's going to look for another basic line. But uh, we're going to put zeros in there, and that way basic will think that there's no more to it. And then at the end of the day, you're going to have a program listing, 2024, and then it'll do an SYS to the actual memory location that starts the code that you want, and then make it print. Um, a bunch of deletes over the SYS and the end list parts, right? So you won't see them because it's so fast. And so uh, I've already pre calculated how long this code is. It's from uh, these locations 801 to. Hold on. Oh eight two C, right? 
And so I put 0830 as the place that it's going to start running code from. And I'm just only mentioning all this because if you decide you want to uh, modify this code and add more characters in, you got to be mindful that you don't overwrite the actual place where you want to start running code. And so this is where we're going to start running the code. Actually, yes. Actually, what I've done here is I've added a little bit of an area in between the program uh, and the start label. And that way, you can add in variables. They'll just be hanging out in there, in that little memory area. You can modify them however you wish. And then the program's actually going to SYS to the start. Back to the start. Right? And that's where we're at now. The actual program main code right here. So what are we going to do? We're going to load the accumulator with zero and then store it in the background color and the border color. That'll turn the screen black. Oh no. Let's load the accumulator with zero and then store that in the variable color one that we just created up above. Create a loop label. Load the accumulator with var color one. Store that in the border color. And then we're going to increment the var color one register. Well, it's not a register, it's more of a memory location that we made a variable. Then we're going to jump to the loop. And that's pretty much it. But you can put anything you want after this point. It's just what I chose to put there. Because it's not really going to have much bearing on what the focus of this video is about, which is the listing. And as you can see, it created a listing of 2024 elite characters that are surrounding the City Zen word. But I need to add a space, and that's what we're going to do in here. And let's list it. Boom. Elite Funky Basic Line. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see me go over a specific topic, please leave a comment. City Club. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new programming series. And be sure to check out all the other vintage computer related videos on our channel. Right here on City Zen.